Reperto is the first of seven steel barges built for Horlocks of Misley in 1924. Her name is a Latin word meaning leader. She was sold out of trade in the mid-1970s. Out of season, she is normally laid up in Ore Creek or Faversham Creek. In the summer season, the Greta operates trips from Whitstable Harbour out to the Maunsell Forts in the estuary, or through the Swale and around the Isle of Sheppey, depending on the weather. In the distance, we can see the sailing barge My Rosa being towed out from Faversham to the Swale by the tug Pep. Approaching Kingsbury Bridge an hour and a half after high water, we have enough air draft to squeeze through without having a lift. Approaching Sheerness Docks, we see the car carrier Viking Amber discharging cars. Built 2010 in China at 13,000 tonne dead weight. The general cargo vessel Anmari was built in 2009 in Slovakia. She is 3,700 tonnes dead weight. The perfect end to a day, sunset in Sharfleet Creek. Princess Irene was a 5,394-tonne ocean liner, built in 1914 by William Denny of Dunbarton for the Canadian Pacific Railway. She was requisitioned by the Royal Navy on completion and converted into a mine layer. On the 27th of May 1915, she exploded and sank in the Medway whilst loading mines. 352 lives were lost. Further information can be found on the web regarding the cause of the explosion. HMS Bulwark was built in 1898 and was one of five London-class pre-dreadnought battleships. On the 26th of November 1914, she was destroyed by a large internal explosion with the loss of 741 men.
Bees Ness Oil Jetty was once the longest jetty in the world. What a shame there's not much renovation going on here. Approaching Chatham Reach, we see Upna Castle in the distance. In its heyday, Limehouse Reach thrived with commercial activity. Coasters, lighters and Every type of cargo unloaded on the quays. Now it seems to be cement and packaged timber on Crow Wharf. This ex-Soviet Foxtrot-class submarine, called the Black Widow, is often used by the film industry. Along this part of the River Medway, there were quite a few cement-making factories, this one at Hauling. Short Brothers built their aircraft factory along the shoreline here in 1915, mainly building flying boats. The famous Short Sunderland flying boat were built here during World War II. Lying on the Acorn and Rochester boys, there seems to be quite a lot of relics. When catching the train up to London in the winter months, one could often see the Queen of the Channel laid up from Rochester Station. Alan Pratt's Pristine Christine Heading up to Thamesport, it was an exceptional high water spring tide, with a lot of the salt flats covered in water. Built in 2006 in Gdynia, Poland, is the 23,000 tonne Danube Highway, a car carrier.
The marine aggregate dredger Sand Falcon is alongside for some maintenance. After an exceptional high tide, we now leave Stangate Creek on an exceptional low tide and showing a vast majority of World War II wrecks. Built in Korea in 2021, the 115,000 ton LNG Enterprise alongside the Isle of Grain LNG terminal. Svitzer provide the safety tugs whilst an LNG tanker is alongside the terminal on the Isle of Grain. And here we see the Spitzer Meridian and the larger tug Spitzer Ganges. Alongside Grovehurst Jetty, once again is the Lady Clara, arrived from Rotterdam with a cargo of gypsum. We transit the swell just after the first of the flood. Arriving back at Oil Creek, it's certainly been an interesting three days on the Medway.